I'm not here to take your value. I'm here to add value to you. You can never lead a force when you are being led by a tyrant. Never. I came to you as your salvation. I am the savior. My pain is in my heart and I can't express it to you. So I let my actions speak for me. Until the NPP is out of the picture, nobody can call himself. Me, I'm a young man. I want to lead. You are lying. You're a joker. And if I'm the reason why the country or the government is not happy about these great voices coming to educate not only Ghana, but also Africa. If you have a tyrant, you can do anything. That is why a simple convention couldn't happen. We don't have any freedom today. Anybody walking in Ghana saying freedom, freedom, you're a joker. We are all desperate for a change. But the change we need is not Kwame Sheda. It is not freedom. That guy is a joke. With one single instruction that we have lamented for too long, and the time is now to organize. That is the innocent message that we came here to deliver. We might not be at the convention, but that will not stop the conversation. We only really shifted venue. And when I'm not here also, I want you to remember that I came. And I want my absence to be felt. And for that reason, I know you're looking for the man. But the man in the mask is sitting in front of you. We saw him from afar. I went to the party there and one dresses as a nation and me. Now we're doing all the pictures. The noise you people are making, I respect it. It hurts. But we have caused it. Beloved, let me break this news to you. I was young on Ghana TV and I'm here. Movie be a quad by you and I and him see our and a baba or beer on your gun and ye a baba cassa and ma a cool beer from the new force. I'm a baba way you and I and him see a chino and the no aquani crum. Now the new force you know be a busabi or bossa, a sissy crum, say wine and a share chili wine and a share chili. A bit more a tray, say a freedom Jacobs and a share chili, the baby bree and a suspect here. Freedom Jacobs na you and I who saw a baba cassa say a or no. And a share chili or no, and a new force na or per se, or be boagana near Africa or no, and a disavation, a bahna, or cassaye after the program and opera so ye, a the convention. I will invite a new for Mokasa or Africa, any musician, stone boy, a fear, and a reala, and penny for a every don Jacobs, a invite you almost as at the convention, your man Rekasa, and Jagana for ne a marker, a year, or a Patrick Lumumba, or free Kenya, or Takasa. Africa hapa ye and a doctor Arikana on also Kasapa a medical doctor and a Peter Obi a Peter Obi a year on una on a Tinubu Ekoshia in Nigeria a presidential election no na Julius Malema a office South Africa na Julius Malema die wa ma o ma aka ne miensa ne die o mo e baaye enso so e ye government of Ghana e the letter by say program o mba be no sa 7 January ya no o munya ye if you say BB S Kwanya, and you can say Omo yes our program in Na Jacob Caesar and then in Crow for Chesse. Sa the convention no beso omo yeno omo enya approval November twenty twenty three mu ne ye den and afedie a year government and now say penny four abase omunya ye unforeseen circumstances being dino omunya ye no mba be bb ewa ye blaster square independent square ho and the omu enya emma uh off the program. Na san se mui Enna, eye Kevin Taylor Ababe Kasa or Chesse. Nana do dan kwa kufwa do te so unkwa, MPP te so unkwa de sa program ni inti mi maso da. Na o akra o pese o ye new force o ye third force no. Enye juma fi se, o mo amu te so no, o mo supporti sa ade no. E mani enye ye. Enu inti, eye fi don joko apse ni nko fwo. Dede no o mo ye no o ti asye. Kevin Taylor so o ti asye pa. Nan so so, o mo kenyo se, it is never possible se. O mo be ma young man bi, e yi ni ti e piye se, o ba ba abe bo aga na e no e na kevin tila kan ye e be kwa kuti na fi ashu as nigga so so a che se na mo an se so e ne e ye julio caesar na di enti a fi ashu as nigga e ka sa e nyina ni se e mre bi freedom jacobs e di freedom coin e ba ya e ye bank of ghana e di wani ma public ni pa se sa freedom coin no a freedom jacobs e di ba no e nye nukure nukure bie ni na no mebi wo hua entwe ye ema eye minti mwa se ba bank of ghana eni fidon jokobs entem na no na fi ashwa as nige eche se na mwa se so eni fidon jokobs inti wano die eye pa se 
or more cancer program, no one to me save Ugana, salvation bay, and over to me I save Ugana. Yabako, Naya Qua could see a fiasco as nigga, and in some more kind, any be. Any guy could see if you don't do cops, and in some more kind, I watch us say, Oh no, any mask, no. Now, one TB and you could see, yeah, near to Kevin Taylor, and Penny for nearby convention, no, and a fiasco as nigga, and soon some more did to Gianti, Freedom Jacobs, Shada, Emra. Thank you very much. In 21 years of my life, I have been serving a nation, working so hard just to become an example of what wealth looks like. And building wealth comes from knowledge, it comes from wisdom, it comes from understanding. You need to get this value from your own surroundings. I grew up partly in Ghana, partly in England, and I came back to Africa 2001. Unlike Martin Luther, I did not have a dream. I had a vision. I started watching the youth and the streets and the roads, the rules and the regulations, the conditions and the constitutions that is depleted and embedded on us as Africans. I had to walk on a different path, and I was alone. My investment on the roads became a landmark. And whatever I invested on this landmark is a footprint. I am here for a legacy. I am part of your historians. That I know many people want to see the true side of me. I know you know Nana Kwame Bediaku, but I know you're still looking for freedom, Jacob Caesar. Yes, I am Rick Christian and I'm here. I'm not here to take your value. I'm here to add value to you. I discovered that the land that we belong to had so much wealth that until we turn it into our own, our economy will never be sustainable. And we cannot forever leave, leave in our countries with a box economy. I needed to create a middle income economy without being a part of the government. Why so? Because I believe it's part of my responsibility. I took a different path. My movement, my foundation, my group, and all of this have acquired some wealth, but the wealth that I reimbursed back into society. It has become a part of my mission to make this change. I believe that I belong to Africa. I am a son of this soil, and I can add value to humanity, and I came here to do that. I came here to add value to this world and to nature. I am not going to live here without God even being proud of me. And when I'm not here also, I want you to remember that I came. And I want my absence to be felt. And for that reason, I know you're looking for the man. But the man in the mask is sitting in front of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am nothing to be scared of. I came to you as your salvation. I don't invest in myself alone. I am investing in you. And truly, these innocent leaders sitting beside me, of course I will not go to them and tell them that, hey, I am a man in a mask and I want you to come to Ghana to support me to do this and this. And this man of this dignity and this woman with such power will say, yes, I'm going to follow you to come to Ghana to do your convention and all of that. No. It is part of the movement. We need to educate. We need to uplift our children. We need to voice out to them. If you are about to find out about this man in the mask, because I never spoke a word, you were looking for me. I didn't tell you whether I am into politics, whether I am an evangelist, whether I am a conventionist, or a revolutionist. After this day, you will have to wait for me to share my policies and my visions with you. And if I'm the reason why the country or the government is not happy about these great voices coming to educate not only Ghana, but also Africa, then I take this moment to sacrifice myself, to unveil myself, because I have much respect 
for these great leaders beside me. It would have taken my own time to tell you that I am. But for this very moment, I am sacrificing myself to let you know that I'm that man. But I'm that man with a good purpose, with a great vision. I have a plan and I have a vision for this nation. And not only this nation, I have it for Africa too. But I know Africa is the next biggest thing because out of all the continents that have been developed in this world, there is only one continent that is not developed. And I am sent to do that. I am not interested in people's positions. I am not interested in presidential positions. I am interested in the regions and the humans. I am interested in the countries. I am interested in the continent. The resources here, the human resources here, the great opportunities to be able to prove a point to the world that this is what we can make out of ourselves as a black society. We have been doomed and disrespected and devalued by everybody in the Western world. My pain is in my heart and I can't express it to you. So I let my actions speak for me. I want to thank you very much for this moment. And I want to thank mm. greatest leaders. Your voice would not, would never leave us as Africans. Mm. And it's the beginning of a new Africa, mm. a new nation, a new dawn a new mindset everything is new thank you jacobs and i have a good you know about now what you say and yeah 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 so because of one man gun and the african and penny for be a yes on the one to see now yeah kevin teller and so i can say what you say so with my eyes are in the party and you won't see in simia or no kevin teller air king in tea kevin teller emra when another dunk we could came to power from 2016 to 2020 from 2017 to 2020, we were on TV every day. And we were telling young Ghanaians and Ghanaians, say, if we give this guy an opportunity, he will destroy us. We were telling young Ghanaians, because the issue is, if we had all come out to add our voice in 20, from 2017 to 2020, Nanado Dankweku Fuado and the MP would have never gotten a second chance. So when I see young men, in Ghana today saying they are leading a force. They are leading a force. You can never lead a force when you are being led by a tyrant. Never. Let me state this again. A third force can never succeed in Ghana when you have a tyrant as a leader. So, when I was listening to some of you with the pain in your hearts, we have created this because we had the opportunity to allow people who understand and believe in democracy to lead us to give us the opportunity to tell the world that we young people can also lead after them but because of our selfish interest thinking and people in the ndc are the same you no know, we sat back fueled nanado danko ekufuado made him more dangerous weaponized him through giving him support and making him think, say, he's powerful. Because when we get the opportunity to speak against a certain president and the government, we say that NDC and PP are the same. There's no way on earth John Domani Mahama would do this. If we had all come together to push these killers out of power, we would have gotten a president in John Domani Mahama who believes in democracy and would have allowed we, the young people in Ghana, to decide what we want to do if we want a third force to come in. But this is the problem here. The person who is leading the democracy today, you see or think is democracy, does not believe in the democracy. Until you get an environment that is conducive enough, an environment that believes in democracy enough, you cannot bring out a new generation to lead. So our mistake was sitting back and making it look like we there, we are fine. Let the foolish ones do politics. And another Danko Kufuado penetrated and entered the cracks. And now, until the Kufuado is out of the picture, until the NPP is out of the picture, nobody can call himself, me, I'm a young man. I want to lead. You are lying. You are a joker. When was the last time you saw a young man or any group of people succeed in a in a in a in a, in a, in a vote, vote in, in 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 a hostile environment you can't you cannot build a democratic group inside a hostile environment you can't do it all the young democrats all the young people who have succeeded in becoming democratic 
figures or uh, groups, they all thrived in an environment where people who were leading them believed in democracy. So the noisy people are making, I respect it. It hurts, but we have caused it. Because if you don't get rid of the problem, you cannot solve a new problem. You cannot create opportunities. What Nana Dodanko Ekufuadu is doing today and the MPP are doing, we gave them the power. I sat on TV, on radio, on loud silence team from 2017, questioning Ghanaians, the young people instead of you people to understand that if you have a tyrant, you can do anything. That is why a simple convention couldn't happen. Do you think as bad as John Dramani Mahama is, he would have listened to this. He would have allowed you to be yourself in Ghana. NPP and DC are never the same. So you people screaming and making noise instead, Gentian group, go and vote against this to open the gap. And your Quran, John Dramani Mahama, when he was president, proved that he believes in Kebi Mamin Kebi. He had the tendencies. He showed that no matter the criticism and how independent you want to be, you are a Ghanaian and you have the right to exercise that. But under these people, so if you sit there and say, Nane Kufuado Nye, Baumia Ba MPP, you are not ready. You can only thrive. You can only thrive as young men, young men who want to make a difference in an environment that respects your rights. If you are being led by a leader who does not respect your rights, there's nothing you can do. You can go bring all the serious talkers in the world. The party that is leading the, leading the country, the leadership, don't believe in democracy. It is up to you. You and I, it's our responsibility to speak against the government for this government to be voted out. Because the NDC, we know, will never do this. John Dramani Mahama understands and respects what? Democracy. So our biggest problem is us. Our biggest problem is stopping the problem. And the problem is NPP Ekufuado. You, these young men who are, who, are, who are pissed off, angered, saying things. If the president believed in democracy, this wouldn't have happened. So if the party in power believed in democracy, this wouldn't have happened. You can become powerful and you can, you can, you can make a difference only in an, in an environment that is conducive and respects democracy and your rights. When you have a government that does not respect that, you can't. You can't be what you want to be. So it's about time you people stop talking about NDC and MPP are the same. It's about time you people pointing to Ghanaians that this particular party, this NPP should go. That is the only solution. But if you people sit there and start to make noise, Eku does not give a heck about any of you who wants to have a new party, a movement. You are jokers to him. Because... You have a block that we all need to come together and break down. After we break down that block, then we can go forward and see where our freedom is. We don't have any freedom today. Anybody walking in Ghana saying freedom, freedom, you're a joker. When one man can stop thousands of people, thousands of people from expressing their interests and what they believe in, you have to understand you are a slave in your own country. Why can't you all come together and stop this? Vote, speak against this government. Let them go into opposition and have a leader and have a government. At least when we compare the two governments, the two parties, there's one that has always respected, that has always respected the views and allowed you Ghanaians, you people. Majority of you people got your money because you lived in a country where the country allowed you people to thrive. You don't respect that. You people have forgotten how you got your, your freedom. You people have forgotten how you became who you are today. It started somewhere. It started when the leader was there and allowed you to understand that you live in Ghana and you have the right to speak and do business. You people sat back and poured fire, poured water, and poured uh, uh, um, 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 gas and lighted the whole place up. You burned the place down. You want me to build it? You have to build it. Break, break that wall down. That nonsense of NDC and PP, if you stick to that, and keep saying that you people will all become slaves. They will treat you the way they are treating. They will treat you for good. You people cannot make any difference. It hurts me to say this. You people calling yourselves what, 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 what. You can't make any difference 
in a in a in a in an environment that does not believe in democracy. My advice to you people is simple. Let's take the first step. Let's break down this government. Let's help kick them out of power. Whatever we want to be, we can be. Until we understand this code, we are all idiots. Kevin Eko Taylor and Ayako Akutino Abana Ochi Chimse and Adanka Kumfadun Nabai to Sungwa Die. And yet, you might that say, I'll be you who appears, I'll be to Debbie Debbie Debbie. And yet, you might not jump and for their buy, no, I'm so much some more kind, much as a oh, dear, now more about the boy Africa, who do rule about the chess Africa, I was do ye. Nancy so be BSC say, said the Aquam and Kuma Gana, Nanka, or Mo Nimse, Kwam and Kuma, and a Kasa, ye, Emma Africa, Nanka, or Nimse, or the Babesha, say, or Gana, Nan ye, dear, or Mo dear, the more can say you to know, and sorry, what cat near was do ye. In Tia Lumumba. And uh, Doctor Arikana and uh, Peter Obi, or more and some more kind, you know, Emre. But they are good. A fear shows nigger. To begin that message, than Accra Ghana. It is in this Accra Ghana that the Osage for Kwame Nkrumah, almost sixty-seven years ago, spoke to the world and told the world that the independence of Ghana meant nothing if the continent of Africa was not free. 67 years later, we were congregating here in Accra in the very same place where the founding fathers and mothers of Ghana congregated to share the message of hope. Invited as we were by the New Africa Foundation with one single instruction that we have lamented for too long, agonized for too long, and the time is now to organize. That is the innocent message that we came here to deliver. And in a manner totally inexplicable to us, we are not at that venue. But is it not the wise to say when the world serves you a lemon, ask not for an orange, make yourself lemonade. We are here therefore to say that the message will be alive and well. And you who are here, Young and old, you are the conduit via which we are now telling the world that the journey of hope continues apace, not only within the continent of Africa, which is the mother continent, but to Africans in the diaspora. I have no doubt in my mind that there is a conspiracy of sorts by the elements that it has happened the way it has happened. So this is not an occasion for lamentation. It is an occasion for redoubling our efforts. Things happen. Changes do come. I can't answer your question, my son. I too do not know why we are not at the convention center. But I came prepared to address the youth. That's what we were asked to do. We were asked to encourage the youth to talk about Africa's future. The future that we all know can only succeed when our youth are empowered with knowledge. That is what all of us have done here. To my right, Professor Lumumba, he speaks nothing but the truth about our beloved continent and way forward. To my right, Honorable Peter Obi, same thing, same message. The world at large, they know that Africa's future is in the hands of our youth. So New Africa Foundation specifically requested us to come and address African youth, starting with the youth in Ghana. And from what I'm hearing, the youth had actually come from all over Africa and some came from outside Africa specifically to hear the message, the message of empowerment, 
the message about our future, the message about the miseducation of not only our youth, but us as Africans, the message about empowering our children and letting them know that now it is the time for us to do what we must do to take our Africa back. For far too long, we have been lied to. For far too long, we have been miseducated. And so as elders, those of uh, the ones who are sitting with me today, and many others, we understand that we have failed our youth. But we do have a responsibility to make it right. And we do know that with our little wisdom and the energy and the intelligence of our youth, together we can take our Africa in a new direction. That is what we came here to do. And that is what New Africa Foundation has asked us to do. We do know that our leaders cannot lead us on their own. They need all of us. So the message that we were going to deliver to our youth today was the message of hope, the message of resilience, and the message that says the Africa we want can only be built by us for us. And for us to succeed at doing so, we must be united. That the African youth are Africa's future. Without them, there is no future for Africa. And as elders, we have a responsibility to share with them the truth and nothing but the truth. That is the message that we came here to deliver. That is what New Africa Foundation had requested us to do. Invitation and organizing this event. Unlike previous speakers have said, we might not be at the convention, but that will not stop the conversation. We only shifted venue. So the conversation continues. We in Ghana to start a conversation about Africa. Africa for too long has suffered. And everybody knows the reason why Africa has suffered. People can try to present it in different stages. The prof speaks about it every day. Africa has been going through what it's going through because of what I always say that it is due to one problem, leadership. It is failed leadership over the years that brought Africa where it is. I want to start a conversation because of what Dr. Arkana has said, talking to the youth of Africa, no continent in the world today has the potential of Africa. Not one. We are the second largest in terms of population and size. But our potential is far greater than even number one. Because today, Africa is the only continent that has a population of 1.1 billion youths, energetic, talented, <coughs> ready to live the world in different areas of the world. Africa is home to the biggest, highest amount of natural resources. And Benifo Amoba is a Amoba Bekasa Abua Ama the Convention Programma Freedom Decops. And Kobe na jawa lanche no hono. No, any aqua could see a banon. I could see a fiasco as nigga and so soon semi or cafe. A freedom jokes on any program away, yeah, and to me, and yeah, and he was so no, and a year, Nipa or Shemaski, a chee, a fiasco as nigga. If he knew the organization that was inviting him, it's not the organization that went to Independence Square to seek the place. Ah? Huh? Ah? <coughs> huh? 
Do you think the government or anybody <coughs> would have given the place to Kwame Shada? And the reason is, the last time he took the place, he used it for a fraudulent activity. You cannot mount a platform. You cannot mount a platform and come and launch any coin, any coin, any coin without the concern of Bank of Ghana, DNDA, because what Smashio will say, we are drawn. We are drawn. And if you are one, you know, probably. And we have educated idiots. Maybe I'm going to go for a circle. Now I'm going to 20, 20, 50, 50. I don't fault them. Chrome will do many hope. My catcher, some politician be a bar. Collect the money or see them quite yet. We are confused with that. And to be put here, all my ma or musica, Emma or more echo. I don't fault them. I fault the educated grown ups that are falling for this foolishness because they are stupid. Musian has hearted. Monsieur and answer. Now, you know, now I know, yeah, you enjoy the fire. We are all desperate for a change, but the change we need is not Kwame Shedda. It is not freedom. That guy is a joke. He's a joke. We saw him from afar. And you see the party, there are no addresses of salvation. I mean, now we're doing a whole tapestry. We saw how he wanted to belong so fast. We have seen the business formats. And some formats, you know, a term. So my father died and left me money in the bank. And I, we need to go and wash the money so that we can get the dollar format, you know, a term. Some formats, you know, they ban. Now, one that you see against him. Please. I don't need to remind you that your mama said some of you who are short memory. Now, for the quality shed a format here on eBay. Quality shed a format here on eBay. On eBay. Or maybe you are formatting a bad year. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up and see the writings on the wall. Wake up. They say, you are watching here and your are Peter will be and on the baby car have you seen me in Nigeria talking about issues in Nigeria? I speak about issues in Ghana because so many people who are here or be there and they fuck up or can't get in. Ah, Ghana from show me two Ghanaians. I will never or my naturalize as Nigerians. It's in Nigeria. I will wait. Have you apart from power say you are both show, you are both show. Maybe I will go show now. We here. Celebrity Ben, we share the chroma known in the body garden. Um, I will wait. Celebrity Ben, I share no Ghana, no the body garden. Um, I will wait. I will fucking wait. Celebrity Ben, and I wish you are. Yeah, here will be. I'm not about to catch you, say Ghana, you're in crisis. I hey, Peter will be. Omo omo ba ya no. Why na ni kuro eyeche in Ghana? I was waiting for Julius Malema to come. He didn't because Malema will not rob his dignity in such things like that. Malema will not rob his dignity in such things like that. As someone does not work with bodyguards, stop lying. They say apart from saying your co-program. Why not be clear? Why not be clear? Why the so-called leaders no? Who why was he in Tianika and Sana Oba? Beloved, let me break this news to you. I saw for one cry before Mensa Otabel who go and preach in Duncan Williams Church. There is a payment. Listen, listen. If you don't, I'm telling you today. I am opening your your eyes to some facts. Among my said they are coming to bless you. They are working, Master. We are all working. We need to feed our family. There is not listen. 
What could I be my say? Salary, celebrity salary. Me. We have nowhere to take salaries. When we go and speak somewhere, we are working. When we go and make appearances at adoris and parties, we are working. We are working. We are working. So those people that came, they came on my duma. 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 Listen, let me brief you this fact. Before I suffer, we be free now, sorry. I could suffer, we are sorry. I could preach, you know. Upon one, your money envelope. You two are the and, 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 and let me shock you. Some of the pastors, they take $5,000, $7,000, $10,000. I am not going to mention it. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Tinase. Tinase. Maybe I will say, and you and Tina, Ota Bella Mawa Sorida. Before I will say, me and Tina, Bishop Adina Sari, who was so homo mother, because me sick and so. Mo after no answer. So when you see somebody at some place, don't be carried away. Don't be carried away. And I wanted to hear those leaders. I want what have what what have they have to tell you? I want one. Ah, Oma mani na wate. Oma mani na wate. Oma mani na wate. Mu ye ni pa ma wate. Mu ye ni pa. Ye chiti musa ne ye miya. It 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 it. And mommy heart ache. And mommy heart ache. And mommy heart ache. Me see some format we di na mo ane you see. So I don't see why you are falling for it. I am this. I I I am the savior. I am the savior. Any Ghana, any I am the savior. Any Ghana shall rise again. Then Ghana shall rise again. Then Ghana shall rise again. Cry better. Flesh demon, I'll not come here and sit here and tell you lies. Man, none of them pay me. None of them pay me. And I ain't scared of any of them. Every NPP. I ain't scared of any of them. They don't pay me. They don't feed me. I am free to say whatever I want to say whenever I want to say it. So I'll not come and sit here and waste my time and lie to you. But the only one you know, you know, was a joke. Was a com it was it was a comedy. It, 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 it was a classic comedy. Yeah, it was a classic comedy. I am not disputing the fact that we need a change. I am not. I am not. I am not disputing the fact that we need a change. But we also not sit down and fold our arms and watch any Tom, Dick, and Harry to come and play with Ghanaians again. Motes, Motes, Abadi Michael, you think what told the Ibian put him to Abama? It's a fact. You think what told the Ibian put to Abama? Bet me, Daka. I'm willing to bet your book as ten thousand dollars. It's a fact. It's a fact. We think what Tobe be ample. Now I will wait for him. You think Ghana is what has a Ghana you play Ghana? I am a say, what's the idea? Sorry, I know a corner letter commission in the theater. You're right. You're right. You're right. Ghana need a different president. We don't need a potential candidate. Oh, yeah, Nino. Yeah, do a man a man. I was saying, then can you pan call call with branded Bitcoin? I have a friend of Freedom Coin. Mama money in the home. What are we suffering? The Nigerians are not suffering. <coughs> Is Kenya better than Ghana? Is Kenya better than Ghana?
Kenya is it better than Ghana? Patrice Lumumba no no ni kwa mo e ho jo e ho ye a e ho ye deceiving Ghanaians with foreigners. Momo jare o momo jare mo jare o mo jare e kwa mo mo jare deceiving Ghana with foreigners. I don't know how to America. You don't come from Kofo. You don't come from Kofo, Ghana. Because I'm not going to be saved. I have been a genius, my name, Mama. I don't know how to do it. You don't come from Kofo. 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 And I don't come from Kofo. You don't come from Kofo. I will get back to you. Then you go home. Then you go home. And... Think, or because such a we are as a human being, you owe yourself the responsibility to think about it. Said you are saying, "Ban a Is it possible? Is it humanly possible? And then I'm in Kwama Senior Special. How special am I? You must sit and analyze and think. Brian, Shani, my Shababu, is in the sa. Toka ni o dene bai. Toka ni o dene bai. They have the fake documents. Ene bai e deporting. They have found the fake documents in Tonche. They are no Arab ni. Arab ni or identify as Belgian. The patcho no di. Gan a your problem e fan hobe. Problem so do do say na gan oni. They have found on Tonche. If I will be seeing a problem, then you need my own one to be more on Nigeria. Hmm? You know what? When you oh, file phone, number 10, um, file phone, number 1,000 Ghana cities to Naira. Now show you anyone in your the economic freedom over the crew. We need 1,000 Ghana cities, sir. We need 1,000 Ghana cities. We need 1,000 Ghana cities. See this only one thousand galaxies. One thousand GH cities to Naira. A uh, seventy three thousand. A uh, seventy three thousand nine hundred and something, almost seventy four thousand. And to you know, say you need economic freedom. I like a fool, be an hour. The bachelor, you don't come here when you come. My other see in the Bimuda for Nigeria, no could be such a how many hours in a day and on your right for Nigeria. Go and go and make that go and find out. Go and find out how many hours in a day and on Nigeria for your right. Go and find out. Don't don't be stupid. Don't buy into anything. Don't let them package anything for you. Miss Sir. Yes, I am you. Yes, and then you can find my one here. I have to be honest. We are nipa. Mumu ye nipa. And we make a choice we come in here. No, we are we come here better than you come. Celebrate it in the sky. Celebrate it in the sky on Nigeria. But Ghana no better. People are relocating to Ghana, fighting for Ghana identity. I like a full fight for Ghanaian passports. If it is all bread and butter, Ghana you here for. Ghana for the don't send them for the bag. Send them quite for the Nigerian passport. As a frequent traveler. And as a global daughter, then people would do a lot of passports, but to be honest, you are in crisis. Then people would do Nigerian passports, but to be honest, you are in crisis. Sometimes, some countries confuse our accent with the Nigerian accent. And how quick you want to correct that? Because the minute you are Nigerian in some foreign countries, in almost every foreign country, you are treated like trash. You are treated like trash. God is my witness.
Peter Obi Etimia, I'm a man speeches. I change the mindset of the youth of Nigerians and youth. Now the Abagana, ah, we are changing those mindset and we. Musa Musa Mukom, how many times we win a pipe and we die? How many times? Musa Obiye, Nigeria for they are one of the biggest exporters of fuel. How many times? And we must suffer fuel shortage in a year. Have you pictured the frustration in us living in a country, living in a country, a light and your dreamer? Now we have petrol, so and not diesel, and from power or plants. Picture the frustration. Picture the frustration. You'll be standing in Nigeria airport, it will be raining, and when you be in your boat, you said you would not be here. Can I inform you something? The international departure. In Lagos, does not even have air condition huge enough to give you fresh air. Anytime I am leaving Lagos, I leave there dying. As somebody with sinus issue, I am talking. Apart from South Africa, why pan baby? Ghana is a mess, but let me tell you. Ghana is what the fuck? What is in Kenya? Kenya, Kenya. Professor Awe Awe knows it. Professor Ben, now give me the name. Professor Ben, no call Kenya terrorists. Everybody in Tioku, no. I was shopping mall, no. That boy now I'm shopping mall, a terrorist. I think we should do ta 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 ta. That boy, coffee I will know. Thank you, God bless you. Do you know the terrorism in Kenya? Oh, Bobo Bain, why not you come up with that? Why are you wet? And if somebody wants to build Ghana, or they are one who are never building Ghana, no. Huh? Why can't you see Rani? That man named this for a year, Rani. No, I'm going to go for speakers. Every Nigeria, and the bar, Rani, and I say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, now, when you are a remo, that man had this four call rally, and I see it before call rally, and then it before call rally. I call for a speakers, a flag will cheer, and I bet you a choir and a cool year, a crowd of mobile buyer, and all the five star hotel. Ah, now, for some cool the lady, and go back, go back, go back, go back, what the images are facing. Don't be stupid. Don't fall for any social media hype and noise because they have given them money to make noise. Do you understand? Sit down and do the pros and the cons. We fucking need a change in Ghana, but we don't need a stupid man to come and tell us how to take care of our house. When on Unifia on CSA, is Nigeria better than Ghana? Teacher, like, it's not safe in that country. They will kidnap you. Nobody is safe in that country. They will kidnap you. They kidnap people going to church. They kidnap couples coming from wedding. They kidnap people at a funeral. Kidnap, kidnap, kidnap. What can't our security as a many? And when I want to fit up, I'm about to talk about the same thing. I'm about to preach change. What change? Do we need that Nigerian doesn't need times 30? I will. I was your line eight can gonna for a coffer a drone was so be a bar. I have found Gallimas herbal capsules and a dray. You didn't remember come out come out 14 and a day now. One more Juma 80 a dose of power. You would did you put it on be pan say and my own fino just when you cry you who never say you could have anti aging component to me into my own unit. Sir Sanso and a Sanso echo and never your dear never your dear suffer is going to be a prostate enlargement prostate disorders and a face sexual weakness nina a ya dia wotan nom a ya galimans eba kapsis ya ebe ya fro a dia mam dia tu obi emso a ya hon fento aswa a non a ya galimans ontiment ya a non non obi ya ujwe ya non ke kanon na o dia fe e tini hon a na fe so honam nene ya kuchiri kuchiri ema u nyan hon toa me pachaw 
and also e be ye fru ma honam na fe 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 e no dan chenso a sachem fu yare ba na ye wo ana ade bi a e di utri hunya de e me pacho galmans ultimate e be ye fru ho ni nyina fri e line 8 clinic ghana o se apom den hun sem hia o ye ti yade bi to so na e ha wa me pacho fabrike mo den e ko line 8 clinic ghana number sin de go screen no bo modia fa line 8 clinic ghana o se your number 1 health expert